How we doing, everybody? This is that R nerd back at it again with another algebra lesson. <laughs> uh, today's lesson covers fractions um, and multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting fractions. Uh, so, our first thing that we'll cover here is multiplying fractions. And so, the way I guess the general formula is if you have a divided by c times b divided by d. What this would equal is a b divided by c d, where c and d cannot equal zero. They can't equal zero, right? Because if you divide anything by zero, um, that's going to be undefined, and it does not work like that. Uh, so basically, we just multiply across our numerators, we multiply across our denominators, easy as pie. Sometimes people don't like fractions, but really, I mean, shoot, this is pretty nice right here. So let's take two fractions. I don't know. Let's just make some up. We'll do 6 divided by 7, I suppose. And then we'll do uh, 3 divided by 5. And so what we do when we multiply these fractions is we multiply across. So we have 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 7 times 5, which is 35. Off the top of my head, it does not look like we can simplify this fraction. So this would be our final answer. Like I said, easy as pie right here, right? Let's do another quick one. What if we had 7 thirds times 5? Oh, this is lame. <laughs> it's kind of similar to the last one, but whatever. Uh, so again, we multiply across our numerator, we multiply across our denominator. 7 times 5 is 35. 3 times 4 is 12. And again, off the top of my head, this doesn't look like there are any common factors here. So we cannot simplify that, so that would be the answer. So like I said, Really straightforward, really nice, really easy. Um, dividing fractions, sometimes those scare people. But really, dividing fractions is really similar to uh, multiplying fractions, and it's, it's really not very bad at all. So, let's say we did 6 sevenths divided by 3 fifths. Uh, so, this is the, the same problem as this one up here, except for uh, we're dividing instead. And instead of having uh, a divided by B and C divided by C, right? Because that could get really messy and ugly. Uh, what we do is we we flip our second term here, and we uh, we do the reciprocal. And so the reciprocal is just flipping our fraction. And so this will be the same as. So this is equivalent to the same as. I mean, six divided by seven. So we leave our first term here, and we multiply the inverse of our second term. So we just flip that second term. So instead of 3 fifths, we have 5 thirds. And so now we're multiplying. Uh, and it's just the same as we were doing above. 6 times 5 is 30. 7 divided by 3 is 21. We could simplify this one a little bit, right? We could take a 3 out of both these. And if we took a 3 out of 30, that would leave us with 10. If we took a 3 out of 21, that would leave us with 7. And so 10 divided by 7 would be our final answer. Uh, you notice the numerator is bigger than the denominator. At least in all the, the classes that I do, is I prefer these improper fractions, they call them. Uh, maybe in your class you might need to do a mixed fraction. where that is the ugliest 7 of all time, right? But uh, this would be 1 and 3 sevenths. Um, I, I don't like these, but hey, maybe in your class you'll have to do them. Uh, but either way, those both mean the same thing. So multiplying, multiply across the top, the numerator and the denominator, and that's it. Division is really similar, except for you flip the second term and use the reciprocal, and then multiply. 
Uh, we then have something called equivalent fractions, and what these are is, is how we could maybe make our, our fraction bigger. And so what this is saying is, so if we have a divided by b, this is going to be the same thing as if we had a times c divided by b times c. Uh, so if we, uh, if we do c, uh, c is going to be the same number here on the top and the bottom. And so if you have the same number on the top and the bottom, it cancels out and it's a 1, right? And so then we're multiplying a, a, b times 1. And so this is going to be equivalent. This is going to be the same thing. Uh, so let's say we had 6 sevenths, right? But we wanted to make that into 21st. Well, we'd have to multiply our bottom piece here by 3. And if we multiply the bottom by 3, we also need to multiply the top by 3. And this will give us an equivalent fraction, right? Because 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, so we're not changing our fraction at all by doing this. So 6 times 3 is 18. And so this would be an equivalent fraction of 6 sevenths. Uh, in the next one, we'll go into more of the addition and subtraction. It looks like I've run out of time for this video. Um, if you found this helpful, make sure to click that like button, that fractional like button below. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more algebra tutorials.